And with more companies opening up, the question of liability is being brought up by employees who are not comfortable going back to work based on risk factors. ABC7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke to experts about who would be responsible if an employee gets sick with COVID-19 and what their options are. Tesla moved forward with reopening their factory in Fremont in defiance of local orders. But now the question that many employees have is... What are my options if I get sick with COVID-19? Often workers really have to be careful to document where they think the exposure has occurred. Laura Stock, director of the Labor Occupational Health Program at UC Berkeley, says employees could qualify for workers' compensation with this proof. And workplaces also need to make changes. They are required to have a detailed injury and illness prevention program. But some Tesla employees are concerned about the possibility of their unemployment benefits getting suspended if they decide not to show up. Is that legal? I think it's legal. Whether it's, it's right is another question. They are now going to be denying people those benefits, and that's a great concern. Workers' rights attorney Alejandra Cuesta urges employees to voice concerns and build a strong case. Show that they are not having a protective uh, PPE, they are not having social distance, they are increasing the risk because they have to take public transportation. I think that they have a strong argument that if they fire them, that will be retaliation and that is unlawful. In a smaller scale, the owners of Green Apple Books in San Francisco are working with their employees based on what makes them comfortable. A number of staff members who said they're not comfortable coming in and working in the stores yet, so they've been assigned work to do from home, on internet orders. Putting employee safety before profit has helped this business retain their employees during this pandemic. To make staff feel like we care about them, because we do. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.